Now at 11, new changes are coming to one school district when it comes to parent involvement. WECT's Emma Dollenmayer was at the Columbus County School Board meeting tonight where school board members just reviewed, revised, and approved two policies involving parent involvement. Emma, they say these policies are intended to improve communications between teachers and parents. Yeah, Fran, the new policies come following the new Parents' Bill of Rights law passed by the General Assembly. It essentially requires schools such as Columbus County to put parents' rights in writing, and there are some notable changes. For Columbus County schools, the biggest change as a result of the Parents' Bill of Rights law is how a child is identified. Now, if a child would like to be called something other than the name on their birth certificate, it must be approved by a parent. The same goes for pronouns. This policy raised concerns from one board member who asked what would happen if a kid requested to be called a name that was disruptive to the class and the parent approved. I want to be reactive, I mean proactive instead of reactive on this thing. And I don't want to get, you know, Thomas the Cat come in and want to be called Thomas the Cat. And the parent says, yeah, that's fine. That, that, that. Well, I think... Superintendent Dr. Deanne Meadows said they would cross that bridge if necessary, but for now, it's policy. She says policies like including parents' right to know about the curriculum or invention related to the physical or mental health or sexual matters and their right to have access to academic and health records kept about their child by the schools are in place to promote parent and teacher transparency. We want to be as transparent as possible with parents. We want parents to be involved. We want you to come and see what's happening in our schools. So what's, what it's asking us to do in policy is really what we want to happen anyway. Other policies now formally in writing include prohibiting instruction on gender identity, sexual activity, or sexuality to be included in grades K through 4. But Meadows says they were not part of the curriculum for those grade levels already. Emma Dollamere, WECT News.